What the Lord has laid on my heart, as many of you know, at Liberty Broadcast Network, we talk about FEMA camps. I like to call them also known as the synagogues of Satan. Now, Jesus told us of end time prophecy of what is going on right now. I just want to read to you guys the Word of God. And who is the Word? God is the Word. Okay, here it is. Let me just pull it up real quick. Okay. It says, Take heed lest any man deceive you. Mark 13, 5. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. Wow. Think about that. Many. And when you shall hear of wars and rumors of wars, be not be ye not troubled. So don't be scared. Jesus says, fear not. Okay? For such things must need be. Jesus says they have to happen because must need. But the end shall not be yet. So when these things happen, the end's not here yet. For the nation for nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be earthquakes in diverse places, or different places. And there shall be famines, yes, starvation, and I also think famines could be starving for the word of God. There shall be famines and troubles, these are the beginning of sorrows. But take heed to yourselves, for the, this is what I think is a FEMA camp. But take heed for yourself, for they shall deliver you up to the councils and the synagogues, and you shall be beaten, and you shall be brought before the rulers and kings for my sake, for testimony against them. But what did Jesus say? For, for his sake, and a testimony against them. And the gospel must be, first, wait, the gospel must first be published among all nations. People, did you know everyone says, well, that's already happened. It has not. You go to Saudi Arabia right now, try to publish a Bible, see what happens. <laughs> Off with your head. But when they, when they shall lead you and deliver you up, take no thought beforehand what you shall speak, neither do you premeditate. But whatsoever shall be given you in that hour that speak you, ye, for it is not ye that speak, but the Holy Ghost or Holy Spirit. So, meaning, be rooted in the Word. But don't worry about these FEMA camps. Man, who cares? This is Satan. We have power over him in Jesus' name. The Holy Ghost will speak through us for a testimony for Jesus. <coughs> I embrace it. Bring it on. And it says... Now the brother shall betray the brother to death, and the father the son, and the children shall rise up against the parents, and shall cause them to be put to death. And ye shall be hated of all for my name's sake. But he that shall endure to the end, the same shall be saved. So end, I'm not trying to get arguments about pre-trib, post-trib, I'm just talking about survive to the end and endure to the end rooted deeply in the word and praising Jesus Amen Mark 13 14 but when you shall see the abomination of desolation spoken of Daniel the prophet standing where it ought not let him that readeth understand let them that be in Judea flee to the mountains and let him that is on the housetops not go down into the house, neither enter therein and take, take anything out of his house. Now, this will be a uh, surmise that stop at this point, make more videos. But, what, do you know what the abomination that makes desolation is Daniel? Well, there will be a third Jew Jewish temple. And... The abomination of desolation is when the Antichrist comes and ceases all offerings. 
the Levitical priesthood has already started back the daily sacrifice. Uh, the generation of the fig tree. Israel wasn't a nation until May of 1949. Eight, excuse me. And then Jesus said this generation shall not pass if these things happen. Generation of 70 years. That was 1948. So this is the generation. Just wanted to give you some food for thought for the day. Because man can't live on bread, bread alone, but by every word that comes out of God's mouth. Peace be unto you. Love you all.